again. Yay! All right, that means my memory is loose again, I reckon. So now I'm gonna have to open up the damn thing and I can't get on with my day until I've fucking done that. Great! <sighs> Go back to sleep. All right, let's do this shit. Ah! It's pretty dirty though, so while it's out of that corner, let's just vacuum. <laughs> Probably been ages, eh? Oh, I can never fucking remember how to open this properly. Like, it's always a struggle, but maybe I'll do it okay this time. I know I gotta take that out. Oh, dear, oh dear. There you go. So like I know that um, when I was a kid they're all like don't open your computer, get a pro to do it because otherwise static electricity or whatever. But um, I've done this so many times now for this computer that I just don't give a shit anymore and it's from 2011 so like if it dies well I don't know it's, it's gonna die in a couple of years anyway because Windows 7 is going out and I'm too stubborn to upgrade so Fuck it, let's do this. Dun, dun, dun! So, I want to get this RAM out, and I'm going to have to get them one by one, jiggle them around, and hopefully that'll fix the fucking computer. I don't know which one is the problem, so I'm just going to do them all, which is what I do every other time. So, maybe I want a flat one for that green one. Uh, these little bloody tabs. I'm try not to... Maybe I'll use the one. One at a time, yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. And, like, I don't know, it looks fine, but I don't actually know that much about computing stuff, so, hey, whatever. Should I just take them all out and then put them all back in? I don't know. I can never decide how I'm going to do this, but maybe I should just put it straight back in so that I don't fuck anything up. Alright. Push back in. Hopefully it's always harder than I think it's gonna be. That's one side. That's the other side. Okay, that's clicked back in. Now let's get the next one. Maybe I should take them all out there because it's gonna get tricky to get in underneath there. One, two, uh oh, I've unclipped the other one again. Can you see the little clips? This little white bit? That's what I'm pushing down and there's some on the other side and then next to the white one is a black one which is a bit harder to see on the camera, but it's like black, white, black, white. Um, yeah, those are the clips that hold the RAM in. I'm sure, like, anyone watching this already knows that. Um, or else doesn't care. But hey, yeah, look, we got another one. It looks friggin' fine to me. Um, you know, whatever. We'll put that straight back in. Sometimes in the past I've uh, like switched the positions around. This time I just can't be bothered. And then if it doesn't work, I'll have to assume that one of them is broken and then try um, turning on the computer with one removed all the time. And then I'll have less RAM, but like, which is gonna suck for processing YouTube videos maybe. I'm sure that's more of a graphics card thing, but you know, my computer struggles already. I'm not happy about, but I can't exactly afford to go spending a ton of money on new computers at the moment. Hmm. That, like, it seems fine. Let's try not to kill it on the way back in. This doesn't happen that often. Like, maybe once a year. I haven't actually been keeping a track. I don't remember when it first started happening either. But yay for Google, and yay for Dell having the beep system, because then you can just look up Dell for beeps, and um, someone on the internet can tell you what to do. Yeah, so it's a memory error. Usually, for me, it's just that one's become loose somehow, and I don't know how that happens. I guess computers do have, like, parts heating up all the time, and then cooling back down when it's off. And there are some moving parts there. We can't assume that computers are actually eternal, can we? And you know, like, back when I was working at Kodak, we had those kiosks 
where you go and print off your computers. And they're all the same, and as far as I know, all put in at the same time, but they all acted differently. And like, that just shows you how imperfect computers are compared to what we think they are. Okay, so I've got that all on. <sighs> yeah, no, computers, I could go on a rant about that too. So the next thing I gotta do is check that this shit's working. And I don't want to put the cover back on until I've done that. So where's my power cable? It's all the way over there. Fuck. Right, whether this is wise or not, I've only plugged in the power cable. So if it does boot up, then I'm going to have to shut it down manually from the button. Um, but I don't want to have to plug, unplug everything again if it's not working. So let's see. No beeping! That's all it fucking was! The fucking RAM getting out of whack again! That gives me the shits! Like, why? What am I doing? Alright, I'm gonna have to plug everything in again. So, I'm sorry computer, I'm gonna have to manually shut you off and then you're gonna be like, I didn't start up properly. Oh, should I wait a bit? No, let's just fucking go for it. Oh, it turned off already? I wonder if I've got another problem, fuck. Because usually it doesn't turn off just like that. Shit, okay, we'll boot it up and we'll see what's wrong with it now. Oh my god, gross, look at all that dust. I'm gonna have to fucking vacuum that as well. <laughs> Alright, computer, let's see. Seems okay, sounds okay. Looks okay. Start Windows normally, yeah, because that was my fault. Come on, computer, you can do it. Come on, tripod, you can hold the picture. It's actually looking okay. Maybe I don't have to be all angry. Come on. Gosh, yeah, this thing's from 2011. I didn't even get it when I was living in this house. Oh man, let's see if it gets past the starting windows thing because that's a bit scary, isn't it? Come on, computer. What's happening? Oh my god, it's actually starting up. Okay, so maybe I panicked for nothing. Okay, don't look at my password. Which one is the password for this computer? Uh, I think it's that one. I get confused because I've still got my 2009 Mac and it's got a different password. And I've been using that again because I've been recording my vocals for my EP. Because <sighs> I use my Mac for all my music stuff. Um, and yeah, the Mac isn't on the internet anymore because I'm still running Snow Leopard. And there are no more security updates. So I know Macs don't get viruses the same way as Windows PCs do, but whatever, just to be safe, I don't have my Mac online. But my PC still is online, at least until Windows 7 gets all its security updates booted. Um, and then I'll have to get another computer and finally switch over to Windows 10, I guess. But I'm going to keep this as long as it lives. Because it's got my Photoshop and it's got Windows Movie Maker, like the old good version that's easier to use and actually cut things with where you want them to be cut. Like, I think Windows Movie Maker cuts video better than HitFilm Express, which I've also got on here. Um, which I got just in time before HitFilm stopped supporting my <laughs> shitty Windows 7 computer. Um, so it's got software I like, and like I got Photoshop before they did Creative Cloud. I'm so fucking sick of cloud software. Um, and I don't know how well that would work on a new computer, whether I get Windows 10 or whether they bring something out by the time I need a new one. And, um, you know, even if I get a new computer, it might just be like a shitty Surface Book whatever, just so I can be on the internet and not be frustrated with everything. Um, 
So it's got all the software I want, and if the only problem is it can't connect to the internet, I don't give a shit. Maybe I shouldn't be on the internet when I'm on this thing and wasting all my time on Facebook and watching dumb YouTube videos. Like, QI is what I'm addicted to right now. Maybe I would get more done if I didn't have this on the internet. I mean, I do spend a lot of time on the internet on my phone now, which is kind of dumb. This is actually taking longer than it should, and I'm a little bit nervous. Where is my desktop? Where is my fucking desktop? Hello? Hello? Hello, wake up! You were going so well! Yeah, I don't know. At least maybe if I was using some other shitty computer, like a Surface Book, maybe I wouldn't spend so much time in my room. I don't know what I'd do on the Surface Book other than surf the internet, though. Maybe a Surface Book is overkill. Maybe I should just get a fucking tablet. Second hand off eBay. <laughs> Shit. I've been waiting for fucking five minutes. Almost. Oh my god. Please work, like... Nope. While we're waiting, I, now that I have looked at dust, I start seeing dust everywhere and it just gives me the fucking shit sound. Oh, that's gonna take more than just vacuuming, isn't it? From. Oh, that's the lid on that can. <laughs> Tablet driver's not running, that's fine. I don't need it to run. What the fuck, are you gonna show me my desktop or not? I could get changed out of my pyjamas in the time this was fucking taken. Should I just turn it off and turn it on again? God. And where's that? There's the screen that actually looks kind of crap. I don't know if that makes much. I need to get a proper screen cleaner or something. Oh my god! Oh my god! That only took fucking forever? Hey! Alright. Alright, we're good. I'm happy. Oh my god, that is so not how I wanted to start my morning. I was even going to make a completely different video and then... Fucking computer. Um, yeah, the, like, maybe this is what I get for keeping a computer for seven years. It might even be close to exactly seven years. I, I don't know, like, October, I feel like, is when I got it. I could be just making up shit. Like, memories aren't, um, as reliable as we want to think, but whatever. Um, yeah, I was going to rant about something completely different. Actually, it was going to be a happy video, but now I'm pissed off because also someone sent me a f Like, I'm just so pissed off. Why would you be like that? Fucking no. I don't need your shit first thing in the morning giving me the shits because then I have to deal with my shitty fucking computer with its RAM somehow getting itself dislodged again and, you know, I can only assume maybe occasionally I bump it by accident. That's a possibility. But the main thing I think is happening is it's heating up, cooling down, and that's wiggling things slightly out of whack bit by bit until whichever RAM it is that has an issue decides to 
you know, die for a bit. Or maybe there's something in that RAM component that, like, overloads after a while. Um, I suppose one thing I should try next time is just unplugging the power and plugging it back in and seeing if that resets it, because that works for the printer. Yeah, we've got too much old stuff that needs fixing, except that we found workarounds, haven't we? And I'm just... I don't need all this. I was gonna make a nice video today, but instead I'm making a ah video. Fuck you. Fuck technology. I, like, I don't want to upgrade to Windows 10. Upgrade to Windows 10, because I don't need all that advertising coming onto my computer, and like, I don't know, I'm sure there's a way to turn it off, but I'm gonna have to fuck around to try and find it. Um, I don't want to have to upgrade all my software, uh, if it, those things don't work, or find workarounds for them. Um, I like Windows 7, you know? I was, I know a lot of people are attached to Windows XP, but I was okay with Windows Vista, it did what I needed it to do, and Windows 7 is good too, but I'm like, Windows 10, I don't... Windows 8, let's not even talk about that, but Windows 10, I mean, it seems like it's heading in a better direction compared to Windows 8, but just make Windows 7 better, I don't know, there's probably some technical reason for why we need Windows 10, but I can't... I just can't be bothered to look it up and understand it and why do things have to change? I feel like technology, technology is not becoming more fun. Technology is becoming more annoying as it invades more and more of life and it becomes less magical and, you know, where's my fucking hoverboard and where's my jetpack and where's all these things that we were promised in the 70s before I was even born? You know, it's the 21st fucking century and we don't have all the fun technology that we were told we would and I'm just gonna get dressed and walk the dog and go fuck everything. I mean, I probably shouldn't even be saying this publicly because, like, but on the other hand, you're... what are you doing this for? I can't, I can't even.